Wavtool is a web-based DAW that uses artificial intelligence to help you make music in exciting new ways. I'm Tim Kant, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your first track with Wavtool using its AI capabilities to quickly come up with new musical ideas. I feel the best way to learn to use a piece of software is to jump right in and make something, so let's go right ahead and make a simple example project. Let's begin with the conductor panel. This is where Wavtool's AI capabilities can be found. Wavtool features a chatbot interface where we can ask it for help and guidance, and a skills menu where we can quickly access some powerful AI tools. Let's click the Config button and change the default conductor panel mode to Skills. Let's click List All Skills to see what's on offer. We'll begin with Add a Beat. Wavtool now gives us a choice of sound we'll use to play that part. Let's go for Chill Drums. Next, we click Compose with AI to start composing. The composer will give us some starting suggestions. If we mouse over these suggestions, we'll hear what they sound like. If you're not feeling any of these suggestions, you can click Regenerate to make some more. To select a starting point, we click one of the composer suggestions, and this will add that note information into the MIDI editor. So, now we have one bar of a drum beat, let's decide on what we'd like to happen in the second bar. It's important to note that when you've picked a part, it remains flexible. We can zoom into the MIDI part using the navigation bar at the bottom of the MIDI editor. We can move sounds around by dragging them or by pressing the arrow keys on your keyboard. Moving them up and down changes the sound a note plays, and dragging it left or right changes its timing. We can hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and click to add a new note. Clicking a note and pressing Backspace will delete it. That's cool, let's add a third bar. For the fourth bar of our beat, let's try adding a little flourish to keep things interesting. We can use the experiment and new rhythm checkboxes to switch things up. Okay, now we have a four bar beat. If we press Command and L on Mac or Control and L on Windows, we can set up a loop so that we can hear our drum part play back repeatedly. Let's move the loop so that it's over the drum part. Now we're done making our basic drum beat, let's click Done. This time let's go for Add a Chord Progression. I want the chord progression to start at the same time as the drum beat, so I drag the clip over. Let's pick a different sound to play the part with, E piano. Adding a chord progression works the same way as adding a beat. Now we have a chord progression, let's make a melody the same way. Wavtool pays attention to the musical parts already in place and makes suggestions based on these.
we can change the sound used to play the melody part at any time by clicking the track name and selecting a new instrument sound in the Chain Editor panel. Next let's add a bass line. You can preview the sound used before you start with the virtual keyboard. Now let's add a counter melody. I don't want this to have the same rhythm as the existing parts so I'm going to use the new rhythm checkbox and the experiment checkbox to get something different. can of course edit any notes to make sure you're getting results that you find musically appealing. So now we have the basis of a simple track, we can use the arrangement panel to make a quick arrangement. Using command on Mac or control on Windows and scroll, we can zoom in and out of the arrangement. Holding option on Mac or alt on Windows and dragging clips duplicates them. So let's make a very straightforward sketch where we start off with the drums, then bring in the chords, then the melody, then the bass, then the counter melody. Let's make our little sketch more interesting with some transitional sound effects. WavTool features an included sample library, so we could just expand the sample library window, select the transitions and the FX pack, and then we can audition the included sounds by clicking them. 
to add a sound, we can simply drag it into the project. I play back a specific part of the project by clicking the timeline to position the playhead and pressing the spacebar to play. If we need to adjust the volume of this FX track, we can adjust the gain knob. So, let's say we want to use a piece of music we've made with WavTool in a YouTube video. We select Export, Download File, Download WAV or Download MP3. Downloading a WAV file gives us a high quality file that's suitable for any professional application and downloading an MP3 file gives us a smaller file that's ideal for emailing to a collaborator. You can also download a zipped version of the project file which you can send to collaborators. One more thing. As mentioned earlier, WavTool features a chat interface you can use for help when making music. For example, if you're unhappy with an element of your track, you can ask it for suggestions. Let's ask for some suggestions on how to make our baseline sound fuller. WavTool will give you suggestions that you can action by simply clicking a button. We'll look deeper into using WavTool's powerful processing capabilities in future videos. We've only scratched the surface of what's possible with WavTool in this video, so if you're interested in learning more about WavTool, please subscribe. And until next time, have fun!